How's it going ladies and bruces? I'm Bobby Six Killer, and welcome to a new series we're going to be doing on a game called Oxen Free. Now, I imagine this is one most of you have heard about by now. I think it uh, it did pretty well. It's, it's pretty well known at this point. Uh, it's been on my backlog on my to-do list for quite some time. And I've never actually played it myself, but I plan to, but... I don't know, things kept mounting up and new games kept coming out, and now I haven't really got any pressure to get anything specific done, so we're going to jump into Oxen Free now. I'm going to be playing this with a controller. Because I think it's a, a side-on sort of deal. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. I feel like I'm being a hypocrite, but that guy just won't shut the fuck up. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. I'm listening. I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. Uh, Bird Island or whatever. Um, something about Bird Island or pancakes. I don't know. Perfect. You're right on the money. 8 p.m. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. Okay. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so. And what? Does that make you to her then? Hey, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Eat. No, that's the weird part. I mean, isn't it like... The concept of just getting a new sister like a puppy, isn't it kind of awkward? <laughs> no, it's been totally bizarre. But just for the record, I don't consider you a pet. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blobs. Ugh, it's so creepy now to think about. Why? We were babies. It's funny, that's all. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, so how do you it's a recording. Know they always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on their yeah, way. Let's do it. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk. Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's um biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. Selfie. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? Okay. Pushing the button. There's the little guy. There we go. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddy are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band. So hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. Not sure there's a good band name. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. 
If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Okay. Cryptic. I'm not sure I like Rain. Considering he's like our best friend from way back or some shit. We have blue hair. We are awesome. Hmm. Intriguing so far. Rain went shut the fuck up though. Jesus Christ. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Yeah, sure. Really? Since when do you smoke? Last time you tried it, I thought you were gonna vomit on my shoes. Since now, that's when. Okay, just remember, aim to throw up in the water. Here's the smoke if you want it. Fuck yeah, I'm not gonna turn out a free smoke. <laughs> <laughs> you alright? <laughs> They're filtered. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm in <clears throat> flavor country over here. <laughs> alright, my other friend should be up and around the bend. Actually, that, I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but... Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all... No, it's, it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay, I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case... whatever. <laughs> Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, he's... <sighs> Look, just what did you want to talk to me about before I suspect something nefarious? No, it's nothing. It's not bad. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. And not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons, lemonade, however that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm an optimist, and proud of it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. When the flag is flying, we are... funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. <laughs> we can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. I heard your mum's dead. <laughs> That's harsh to start with. It's nice at night, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Oh, we can interact with stuff. It's kind of kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy. Yeah, it's like a quiche. Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure. Either one. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to shut the fuck up because they're talking all the time. So I've got no time to actually get into it in each ways. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. Well, I'll figure out a way to get my words in. <laughs> I always do. Ah, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? I just want to see how it works. Uh, okay, sure. 102.3? Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941. 
and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? Yeah. I hate thinking about it. It reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible war assignment. There's nowhere to go if something goes wrong. As well as 12 army Named after the Hawaiian government. Interesting. Parks and Facilities Office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, alright. I like you know what to use the um, radio just randomly for stuff. It's pretty cool. Damn. They close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. Hello, well, kids. We're here. No, Maybe the other I guys and girls must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh. The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I Holy shit, it's huge! I think Jerry told me that there's a way that it used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look. There must be something. I mean, I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll... budge. Well, let's try it. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark, the town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. It's, um, it's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did it once. It's amazing when it works. So back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owned some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. Man, she that woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leave. Just there. All the time. Yeah. Why wouldn't I be? If you're happy, you're happy. Why would you move? Yeah. Why would you? Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah. And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh... Huh. Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. I'm not even sure yet, Ren, okay? I have no idea where I'm gonna go, so... Okay, okay, that's all I wanted to hear. I said my piece. <sighs> Sheesh. Thanks so much for bringing me out, you guys. I can tell I'm gonna have a really good time. Ugh, I'm sorry. We'll stop. Yeah, this'll be fun, don't worry. Even if Alex is a listless drifter ruining her own life. Can we go to the cliffs now? You guys wanna shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ, the exposition. Love to find out where this is going. What is gonna happen? Oh, uh, before we get there, I should, I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Who's that? That's, so there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No voice, girl. Or complaining or anything, all right? Deal? Why wouldn't I? Don't be like, just how you can be sometimes. You're an asshole. Oh, and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, it was nothing. Just we leave it alone, Reginald. I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you? 
Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a yeah, trip. Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, wait, wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... your stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Uh, My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. Yeah. Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> We took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Ugh, come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. I'm hip. I'm with it. Listen to yourself. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh... what about me? What about you? Oh. I get it, I'm not even on the spectrum. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20 deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on their... Faster. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yeah, the beach, island stuff. Yeah. Can we go now? I don't know I was worried about interrupting them, they interrupt each other all the fucking time. <laughs> Jesus. Beach. Bonfire. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. We should explore the island. I mean, if this is pretty much a one-time thing, we shouldn't waste it. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Hey, we could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich as- No, we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it a uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. <laughs> you get asked a question. You have to tell the truth. But if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good uh, getting to know somebody game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're gonna... I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Uh... It's just, I mean, go out could mean so many different things. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no. just say so. I mean, I, I I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's that's all. She's cool. She's... She's just a Whoa, liar? Liar! He's lying! He totally likes her! What? Alex, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. You can practically smell it on him. Can we just drop this, please? <laughs> all right, Alex, you get first blood. Slap him like he stole something. I can't believe this is happening. Ha <laughs> And it's not even my birthday. Yeah, everything's... <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> yeah. She's full of surprises. Backstabbing surprises. So, Alex's turn? Oh, great. Here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Uh, <laughs> Jonas. <laughs> yeah? Tell the truth. How do you really feel about your dad marrying my mom and the fact that we're now de facto organ donors? Well, unless you turn out to be crazier than you look. That'd be hard. I think it's fine. <laughs> Only known her one night and is already fine with it. What a guy. 
Is it my question now, then? Yep. Okay, Clarissa, um, last person you made out with. Oh, uh, uh, maybe something else. Or, yeah, maybe who's the last person you, uh, hugged instead? Ah, uh, great. This should be good. Oh, will you all relax? I've made out with people since... God. Anyways, um, that would have to be Ryan Fisher, two weeks ago in Iggy's death. I knew it. Yeah, well, he was there, and I was tired. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. Is I'm... there, like, a question coming, or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't I don't really need to know this. Okay, just get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is, why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. You know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it the end well now you know jonas don't die and everything will be fine okay clarissa you... what you know guys honestly i think i'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game wait let's let's not stop like this we should game's over ren i won and to celebrate i'm gonna sit on the beach and drink and maybe if i'm feeling spicy even take a nap maybe we could and that's exactly what nona's gonna do too fine Whatever, be Miss Pouty on the beach all night if you want. I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me. I appreciate your permission to be pouty, thank you. <laughs> Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosy happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. <sighs> Whatever. <sighs> Whatever. Well, I wanna inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. No, no, wanna come? Uh, I mean, I would, I'm but... very clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. <laughs> okay, come on. Here we come. Where are come you on. from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. I want to come. I want to come to the cave. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Fucking A. Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Let's do it. Come on, <laughs> I'll push you over. Oh, oh, I forgot. We Whenever never talked you're about ready. John. Oh, what, their so, date? So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it going to be? It's Ren, so definitely 10. He gets excited easily, but he has the concentration of a goldfish. The fact that he keeps demanding we see it must mean something. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, what's her deal anyway? I don't know. That woman's perpetually on her period. Uh. <laughs> okay. It's true. Kind of. Oh, and what the hell was up with you and the whole Nona thing with the game? I mean, okay, fine, fun is fun, but I'm trying to get in with this girl, and it was as if you liked making me look like an idiot. I'm sorry. I am. I, I was just trying to have fun. I didn't know you would take it so seriously. Well, I am. I mean, I do, but it's fine. I'll just have to work the old Ren charm even stronger now. <laughs> Rose, come on. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally. Me, me, me. Oh, wait, actually... I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie Town. No, never mind. Magic? What does that mean? <laughs> it means they're enhanced with certain qualities. Hmm. Well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're gonna wanna stand basically right around here, and just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. Okay. How will we know when it's... You'll know, trust me. 
Oh, what was that? So just pull out your Holy crap! Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This What is it? What's doing it? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. Where was it? I lost it. Oh, here it is. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. Whatever, she never liked me. Not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Whew. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Yeah, it did to me. Okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. Yay. Morse card? We just did this on Stories Untold. I don't know what they mean, though. I need the chat in front of me. Whoa. Uh, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Uh... It's freaking me out a little. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what was that? What is happening? There's this... like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last words. Uh, yeah, what is that? I'm sure there is something in there. Like a giant rabies-filled bat or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> if it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here. Because I think... Shh, I think I mismeasured the map. Mismeasured the magic. I feel like this is going to end up basically a no commentary playthrough because I barely have time where I can speak. Except in loading screens, which I cut a lot of anyway. Oh well. Hopefully it's enjoyable to watch anyway. I mean, it's never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. Where'd Jonas go? Jonas! Jonas! It's gone full on side scroller. Can we climb this? Yeah! This is cool! Now I love the art style, the graphics is very cool. Sort of 3D models on a 2D backdrop sort of thing. I like it. In fact, in 2D mode, it kind of reminds me of that The Cave. Any of you have ever played that? I really, really like that. Uh, I played it as a downloadable on PlayStation 3. It was really cool. Come on, let go. Can we... Can you let go of the wall, please? Seriously, let go. Thank you. Fucking hell, you wouldn't let go. Just would not let go, why not? Should I be tuning this while we're at it? Not really picking anything up. Where do we go? Looks like we can climb down that. Can we climb down this? Please? The controls are a little bit wonky. It looks like you have to connect to points like perfectly for it to register that you're trying to do get off things, get on things, whatever. But, whatever. I mean, it looks pretty cool, and I'm intrigued about what these fucking weird signals are about. 
In spite of the fact that I've known about the game for a long time and basically known what the gameplay is like, I've never actually seen any of the story, so I've got no idea what's going on. Why would a guy bring an ashtray down here? Or a pen? Usually if I know I'm going to be playing a game at some point, I try to avoid seeing anything that will ruin it, you know? See a man about a dog. Sure, we'll do- Why did you run off without waiting Jesus, for me? You scared me. Oh, I scared you? You scared me! I had no idea where you were! I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought- I thought I heard somebody down here, but, you know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this- how this happens. No, it's, uh, it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. Sounds like that radio aesthetic. Maybe it is someone. You ever think of that? Maybe it's the crazy guy who lives here and he's gonna eat out our stomachs. <laughs> well, where is he then? In which of these tiny air holes does he hibernate? <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others, and if it's not, we'll just leave. Sounds like a plan, but I'm not gonna turn down adventure. I fucking love adventure. Alright, well, I don't know how much actual co commentary there's gonna be in there, but we're gonna end this episode here, and we'll find out what's deeper in this cave and what the fuck those signals are about later, I guess. Play a very enjoyable so far. I'm seriously looking forward to getting back to it again. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.